It's Super Videos back at you for another Q&A video. This is going to be Q&A number 28. Now, before I get into the Q&A video, I just want to say that I'm most likely going to be moving my Q&As to Saturdays instead of Fridays. I've been doing them Fridays until now, but with my schedule and things like that, I think I'm going to be moving it up to Saturdays. I might even be doing them on Sundays on some weeks as well, but I'm for sure not going to be able to do them on Fridays. So let's get right into this. As always, if you are not caught up with The Walking Dead's TV show and comic book, you may not want to watch this video because it may spoil some things for you. So let's get right into this. Let's start with The Walking Dead's TV show questions. The first question comes from Ria Lindsay and they ask, do you think Enid and Carl will die in the war against Negan? No, I don't think Carl will die and it's unlikely that Enid is gonna die. I think they're gonna both survive the war. Of course, for Carl, he's gonna have a big arc after the war is over, even well after the war is over, so he has to be there. And for Enid, I think it would only make sense if she's alive as well with Carl at that point as well. So I think they're both gonna survive until that point. The next question comes from Final Mystery T. He has two questions. The first one, which fallen Walking Dead character do you think didn't reach their full potential? That's an easy one. Andrea, for sure. Andrea in the comics is just epic. She's badass and everything. But in the TV show, it was just a waste of a character for her. The actress playing Andrea was great, but what they did with Andrea's character, it just ruined her character. The next question you have is, do you think we will get a flashback on Negan crossing paths with Ezekiel? No, I don't think so. It would be great if we do, but I don't think we will. So if they end up doing it, it's good for two reasons. The first, in the story, it would be great to see how they would interact, Negan and Ezekiel. And the second is to see the interaction between the actors, between Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays Negan, and Carrie Payton, who plays Ezekiel. But, like I said, I don't think we'll be seeing that, but it'll be great if we do see it. The next question comes from 0718 Dragonlord, and he asks, What if Merle survived, including the Lucille lineup? How do you think he would have dealt with the situation? So, I definitely think he'd be more vocal about it and speak up, but I don't think he would do anything to put anyone in danger, especially because they were so outnumbered by the saviors. But I do believe that he would probably joke around with Negan a little bit, maybe be vocal about it, but he would not do anything to put the lives of the people there at, in jeopardy. That's a great question though. The next question comes from Stephen Moraga. He asks, do you think Negan will go to the kingdom and kill someone because they won't tell where Daryl is? I mean, Carol and Morgan. And will that make Ezekiel go to war with Negan? So one thing Negan doesn't know that Morgan and Carol are with the survivors and know about Alexandria. They don't know that Carol and Morgan know about Daryl. So I don't think he would go there just asking them about Daryl. I think he would definitely go to the kingdom to see if Daryl is there, but he would have no reason to think that anyone there would even know about the survivors and Daryl. And if he did kill someone at the kingdom, that would definitely push Ezekiel to the war. But I don't think Negan would do that just because they won't say where Daryl is. He might punish them a little bit and try to force them to tell him if they know, but he wouldn't kill anyone there just because of this. The next question comes from Mohammed Marafi. He asks, how will Negan die in the show and who will have the opportunity to kill him? I don't know exactly how he's going to die in the show. I think however way they kill him off in the show, I hope it's an epic death. I think Negan is too big of a character, a villain, to die just a normal way. So I definitely hope that they kill him in an iconic way. And in terms of who's going to kill him, I have three candidates at the moment, both in the TV show and the comics. First, Rick, because that would be epic. Second, Maggie because of course Negan killed Glenn, but in the show it's a bit different because Negan also killed Abraham. So if we want to put Maggie there, we also have to put Sasha there, but it would be underwhelming for Sasha to do it. So because of that, I'm just going to stick with Maggie. And third option is probably Carl, because how badass would that be if Carl kills Negan in the show? It'll be pretty epic. The next question comes from Gavin Cottrell. He asks, if Shane and Herschel were still alive until the Lucille lineup scene, would they be good for the two deaths? So I have a problem with the two Lucille deaths. So because of that, I don't want to see any double death. 
So if you had to replace it, I would replace it just with one, not with two. But individually, Herschel and Shane would be great candidates for the Lucille death. Herschel more than Shane, but I could see it being emotional and impactful if they did end up killing both Shane and Herschel. Now let's move on to The Walking Dead's TV show and comic book questions. We only have two of these types of questions. The first one is from Blotna Jenny. They ask, do you think Jesus is gay in the show just like in the comics? Definitely. I don't think they're changing that about Jesus in the show. Jesus is still going to have the same characteristics as he does in the comics in the show as well. So it's going to be the same. The next question comes from Royals King 35 Royal and they ask, when do you think All Out War will begin and could we see Maggie staying at the hilltop? So just like I've been saying before, I think All Out War will definitely be in season 8. I think March to War is the second half of season 7 and All Out War will be in Season 8. Now, I don't know if we're going to get All Out War Part 1 in 8A and All Out War Part 2 in 8B. It would be great if we do get that, but I'm not sure about that yet. But in terms of when it's going to begin, definitely in Season 8. The next part of your question, will Maggie be staying at the hilltop? Definitely. I think they are already pushing Maggie's story so that she has to stay at the hilltop long term. So she's definitely going to be there long term. Now let's move on to the Walking Dead's comic book questions. We only have one. It comes from The Gaming Wolf. They ask, do you think that there's a chance in issue 163 there will be a group using the Whisper strategy to escape Alexandria? I think it would work very well. I agree with you. It would definitely work. Now the question is, one, does anyone know about that strategy? The fighters do because they've been dealing with the Whispers, but do normal survivors know about that strategy or not? The second, are they willing to do that to survive? But it would definitely be a great strategy for them to use and it would definitely help them survive if they do do that. But I'm not sure if they're going to do it or not. At least most of them are not going to do that, but some may. That's it for this Q&A video. Thanks for participating. If you want to participate in my next Q&A video, write your questions in the comment section below. Make sure to put Q&A before your comment so I can find it. And like I said at the beginning of this video, my Q&As are going to be probably Saturdays or Sundays from now on, not Fridays. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.